Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Fryman, the Chief of Hepatobiliary and Pancreatic Surgery at St. Joseph Medical Center here in Towson, Maryland. We are continuing our medical tutorial series on the Whipple procedure. Today's topic is on pancreatic anastomotic techniques. As we've described in previous uh, medical tutorials on the Whipple procedure, the pancreatic anastomosis, or the, or the suturing of the jejunum, or small intestine, to the pancreas, uh, is the Achilles heel of the operation. Uh, this is the pancreatic remnant. Pancreas. One of these days I, I'll learn how to spell it. So this is the pancreatic duct, and as a surgeon, I like to, or we like to determine whether the pancreas is firm or soft. So those are some two different qualities that, that help in the decision making on which technique to use. And also the size of the pancreatic duct, if it's greater than three uh, millimeters or less than three millimeters. Uh, glands that, that are characterized as soft uh, with ducts less than three millimeters are clearly uh, glands that are at higher risk for um, for leakage. So in, during the reconstruction phase of the Whipple procedure, what we do is we actually s suture or reconnect the pancreas to the small intestine. The pancreas makes a fair amount of digestive uh, juices. So the, f the first technique that I like to describe is the duct to mucosa technique. Uh, this is uh, my preferred uh, method of doing the pancreatic anastomosis in the majority of cases. Uh, when the gland is when gl the gland is soft and, and the uh, duct is under three millimeters, I will uh, change to alternative uh, techniques. And um, when there are more than one way of doing something. Um, there's clearly a reason for that and that's because there is no perfect way of doing it. Um, so what's my preference? Uh, maybe uh, another surgeon's, may not be another surgeon's preference and so forth. Um, I feel uh, uh, with, uh, I feel that performing this this part of the operation uh, in a technically proficient way um, and having a uh, mental algorithm as how to proceed is extremely important in getting good results. So the majority of my cases are duct to mucosa. Um, a small pinhole is made in the uh, jejunum here. Uh, the mucosa is opened and um, sometimes sutured to the uh, serosa, sometimes not. Um, I use loop magnif two and a half uh, loop magnification. Uh, I use 6-0 uh, um, monofilament absorbable sutures such as PDS and perform this uh, anastomosis in a uh, duct to mucosa fashion. Uh, I tend to use um, uh, more sutures than, than other surgeons and uh, approximate it uh, very good. It's important to take deep bites in the pancreas with uh, the, the needles. Um, I do not place a pancreatic stent in the majority of cases, um, uh, only if I'm not happy with uh, one, one particular aspect of the anastomosis, my, may, I pl may I place a stent. Um, I don't feel the stents make that much difference. Um, the majority of reasons why this anastomosis breaks down is probably more because of inflammation of the pancreas uh, than anything else, or back pressure here. So I'm not sure. I, I'm not particularly convinced that a stent makes any difference. So this is the, the duct to mucosa technique. After uh, after this part is completed, I do uh, add additional muscular to capsule. Uh, more to take, more importantly, to take tension off of the anastomosis than to actually reinforce it. Um, so that was the duct to mucosa te uh, technique. Uh, another technique is is basically a two-layer pancreatic ejectinostomy or an invagination technique. Um, and in this technique, there are a few different. There are a few ways of doing this technique. I, I will only describe one. Instead of making a pinhole, the intestine is opened entirely this way. Uh, this is where the staple line is. Some surgeons make open, take the staple line off and actually uh, make it end to end. Uh, I tend to just uh, 
open it this way. The first, it's a two-layer technique where the first layer is the sear muscular to capsule, um, and then the second layer uh, is actually just deeper bites of of the gland. And then when you get to the duct, you take a, a suture here, and and so forth. And then and then you continue this anteriorly. So when actually when you're done, it it actually looks like it's you know rolled over, or in, or invaginated, um, in a 360 fashion. Uh, other ways of invaginating uh, the pancreas exist. Um, if you uh, open the end of the jejunum, for example, you can actually roll it back on itself um, and actually begin suturing on the inside part here. So that, that, that'll be going to here and then this part can roll over further back onto the uh, capsule of the pancreas. So when, when you're done that technique it almost looks like the pancreas is, has been stuffed uh, into the bowel. And uh, you know I may do, I, I will do this type of technique uh, on occasion um, when the gland is very soft and doesn't hold sutures well. Um, sometimes you can even just t place a tie snugly around uh, the jejunum uh, to to make it uh, more to reinforce it more instead of actually putting you know sutures here because sometimes the soft pancreas won't even hold sutures so it's easier to go ahead and um, and just place a tie around it it does require mobilization of the pancreas however and then and then finally other techniques um, that have been described that I have no experience with um, and have never actually done, but there are there are was there were some theoretical advantages to, to possibly suturing the pancreas to the uh, stomach, um, and that would involve and, and the, th the reason might be that the stomach is a little thicker, it may hold sutures better, it may be better vascularized. Um, these are all theoretical, of course. So these this technique is where the the pancreas is sutured to the posterior wall of the stomach in a situation like that and then the anterior wall is closed over and then the stomach is actually sutured to the uh, small intestine so the uh, pancreatic juices actually enter into the stomach I think this technique is, is more popular uh, uh, in Europe or in Japan than in, in the United States um, but nonetheless this is uh, another uh, technique that's been described 